Welcome to another album reaction. Uh, tonight we're going to be taking a look at Equilibrium Sagas. This was a link tree request that was put in by the one and only Halloween. Uh, now Halloween has requested two tracks by this band, so I'm not too familiar with this band. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm ready to just jump right into this. Uh, apparently this is a folk mellow death band from, uh, well, let's do the biography and then we'll, we'll learn more later. Equilibrium is a German folk metal band from Bavaria, wherever Bavaria is located. The band's music combines elements of folk music, pagan metal, melodic black metal, and symphonic metal. Though they recently added in more influences including metalcore and industrial metal, their riffs reflect traditional German Germanic melodies. The, oh, it's Germany, okay. Their lyrical themes focus on Germanic tales and Germanic mythology. The song of the band used to be mostly in German, although most recently they prioritized English in their songs, especially starting with their sixth album, Renegades. The history of the band. The group toured with the Commander and Synchronomica in 2005. The following year, they, con they signed a contract with the Nuclear Blast record label. Shout out goes to them. They're partners of the channel. On the 27th of June, 2008, they released their second album, Sagas. In February 2010, Equilibrium had to cancel their appearance at the Winterfire Festival in Germany due to serious restructuring within the band. It was later revealed that the vocalist Helge Stange and drummer Manuel Di Camillo had left the band. Following the month, the band announced that Robs vocalist in the German pagan metal band Vrakenvord have been chosen to be their new, vo their new vocalist. In the same year, Israeli drummer Tuval Hati Rafali, who is also the drummer of brutal death metal band Visera Trail, joined the band. The band full again released their third album, Recreatoire, via Nuclear Blast on 18th of June 2010. On the 27th of June 2013, the band announced their first EP titled Waldschlein, which contains a new single along with its acoustic version, a remake of the song Der Sturm, and an old, previously unreleased song titled Zwerkenhammer, Zwerkenhammer, as well as their own cover of the main theme for the game The Elder Scrolls Skyrim, composed by Jeremy Soul, titled Himselrand, the EP was released on the 16th of August, 2013. The song Waldschlein is part of the next album of the band, Erden Temple, which was released in 2014 of June. However, the album contains a completely re-recorded version of the song two days after the announcement of the album, founding members and siblings Andreas Vokel and Sandra Van Eldick decided to leave the band for unspecified reasons. On the 20th of May 2014, it was announced that Dom R. Cray, guitarist of Wolfchant and frontman of Northgard, would be joining the band as the new guitarist, replacing Andreas Vocal. On 7th of June 2014, the one day after one day after Erden Temple's release, it was announced that Jen Marjua would be joining the band as the new bassist, replacing Sandra Van Eldick. With their addition to the band, Equilibrium is com complete once again. The band promoted the release of their new album with a European tour supported by Trollfest and Dom's editor band, Northgard. On the 2nd of November 2015, the band announced via Facebook that bass player Jen Marjura have has left the band. On the 22nd of August 2016, the band's fifth album, Armageddon, was released via Nuclear Blast Records. On the 22nd of May 2019, the band announced their sixth album, Renegades, which was released on the 23rd of August 2019 via Nuclear Blast Records. This album is the first one featuring new bassist and clean vocalist Scar Scar Productions on YouTube. On the 13th of August 2021, Equilibrium released a new single titled Revolution and announced that they are expected to release their seventh studio album in 2022. Oh, excuse me. On the 27th of October 2021, the band released their single 10, to celebrate their 20th, sorry, 20 is the single, to celebrate the 20th anniversary. 
On the 3rd of October 2022, citing a loss of symbiosis, Equilibrium announced the departure of Rops as vocalist, wishing him well for the future. On the 18th of October 2022, the band opened a public audition to search for a new vocalist. On the 7th of July 2023, the band released the single Shelter, introducing their new vocalist Fabian Ghetto. Selected from the audition they opened months before, describing him as the missing piece that they had been searching for. On 11th of August 2024, bassist Martin Scarberger announced his departure from the band. The band members of Equilibrium are as follows. Fabian Ghetto, René Berth- Berthom, Tuval Hati Rafali, Dom R. Cray. Former members are Martin Scarberger. Robert Robs Don, Maki Solvalt, Jen Margera, Andreas Vocal, Sandra Van Eldick, Helge Stan, Manuel Di Camillo, Marcus Persch, Basti Kriegel, Julius Kobazek, Henning, Henning Stein, Armin Dorfler, Connie Kaiser, and Michael. Heidenrich. The full discography of Equilibrium is as follows. Turris Flatir. Sagas. Recatoire. Re- Re- Recreator. Excuse me. Recreator. Erden Temple. Armageddon. And Renegades. All right, guys. Well, without further ado, let's do this. Halloween, thank you so much for supporting the Empire. You're already on Patreon. I don't understand why you had to use Linktree, but it's probably because of the, yeah, I do limit my Patreon, so that's probably why. But thank you very much for your support, man. This is our full album reaction of Equilibrium Sagas. The first track is Prologue of Erden. going to get an instrumental here.
pretty fucking cool. I like the intro. It's uh, it's very epic, you know. Um, I was expecting just an instrumental, but we we kind of had a little bit of vocals there. Really, really cool. I like it. Um, it kind of just brings the listener right into their world. I like it. It's it it has this it has this kind of thonic kind of vibe with it. It has it really reminds me of uh kind of like an epica kind of choir in there. I really like it. It's pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool so far. Um, I kind of hear a little bit of Ailstorm kind of influence in there as well. Um, as far as like the folk. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool intro. 